Um, what other change? What other changes should I make? Just it kind of feel like the deck makes sense still. It's just I'm not sure about this turn dismissal, but I think having one is probably good. I like having one anger actually. It was really good that one match. I like having one Crackling Drake as a backup win con. I don't think Jace has aged well, so I don't want to play it anymore. Maybe I just run it back. I'm not sure. I don't really like Narset. I don't think Narset's really, like, that good. Like, I don't even think Narset is good versus Lotus Field. So that's why I don't want to play Narset. You know? Like, if Narset were actually good versus Lotus Field, I'd be for it. But it, I don't think it actually is. Is it good in Mirrors? Uh, sometimes is how I would put it. I think it's like a kind of volatile card because remember that pieces of the puzzle does get around it so it's kind of like a sometimes i don't know uh i think i'm just gonna try another league with this list again get your predictions in also thanks for everyone being here if you're new to the stream hit that follow button that's free to do and help support the stream if you really want to help support the stream consider subbing to this channel either via twitch prime sub or regular sub and I'll be right back. And also, let's get some Garvis Cops for everyone here, including Gab for raiding the channel. I'll be right back for the second week. Also, we open uh, chests for subs here, so consider that. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, which sacrifice deck? I've seen a lot of versions of the deck. I'm not sure. All right. Uh, another match. Get your bets in on this prediction. Guys, consider not playing Mildred Sub, Sag. This person was last Boros Burn. Thing in the Ice is pretty important in the matchup. Hand's like not insane, but I think Thing is so important versus Burn that I'm willing to keep. Of course, if they're not Burn, like, then maybe this hand's not great. But I, I think Thing is really important versus all of the creature decks. What's up, Ultimate Price? Okay, looks like a mirror instead. My hand's not insane in the mirror. It's like, okay. I mean, Thing is actually kind of good in the mirror as well. Obviously it depends on the exact board state, but. One lender? Mismatching Ops, classic, classic.
Okay, I hate this. This is where Narset is very good. They miss though. I don't really want to cast any of these yet. I mean, obviously I could start casting things to flip my thing, but I think that doesn't even like do that much. If I could like flip my thing this turn, I would, but coming days I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, like, I think sometimes going, putting Narset at three makes it weak to the literal card Arlicky Phoenix. No, I played two Storm Carved Coast. A lot of the Phoenix decks play two. So that wasn't a lock. I mean, obviously, if, when they had two, it was a little bit more likely, but... Most of the Phoenix decks play one or two Storm Carpetos. So, I don't think you can... Oh, perfect. Get, getting rid of the Narsa is obviously a big deal here. And that's what I'm saying, like, I think this card is obviously, like, annoying, but it's not the end-all be-all, you know? Because right there I just took out a Narsa with my Snare Thopter, you know? I'm also gonna like this is the matchup where I think you wanna leave in a small number of uh okay, it's fine. I think discarding first is actually good. So I kind of want to get cards into the graveyard for Treasure Cruise. Also if I hit Phoenix, it might be Dees to do this. It's fine. A Floodlight? I have a Lead Light. It's supposed to make it so you can see me better. Why? Does it look weird? Wish this was Flame Blast Bolt right now, but that's okay. I'll just say go and hope you don't do the thing. 
They already use one collected appliance. They usually only play four of that type of card. Excellent. I get to kill that with Lightning Axe, which matters a lot. Can I go to my turn and play Thank the Ice Lightning Axe first? Yes, I can. Works out okay for me. I think if I find Temporal Trespass, it's actually better for me to cast that one. So I'll just look. I think I should just play my land out. Obviously this has some utility, but... I don't really, like... Is this really necessary for these decks to play? I guess it kind of is, but... I wonder if Hole Raker Horror is just better. I guess Horror costs a lot of mana, though. But this is kind of what I mean. I think this deck is not, like, fundamentally that good versus this deck. Just, like, you kind of give up the combo kills and your deck's, like, chunkier, but I'm not even sure you want to be chunkier in the mirrors. So it's kind of weird. It's definitely a weird champ. Or instead of Niv, you can play Gar Reach Sanitarium. That also makes sense, actually. I mean, the Niv with Collected Fiance is obviously really, really good. Well, this card doesn't get you seven cards, right? Like, they all cut the days I'm doing. So it's kind of just a one sided mind twist, but, like. Like. I mean, I would be more for it if they played Days Undoing, you know? But also, like, they only are allowed to play four Narsads. I don't know. It's just, like... The Phoenix deck inherently, I think, is kind of broken, is, is what I mean, you know? I'm going to save it by doing this. Who's Lena? I don't know who Lena is. I mean, look, like, this... Oh, wait, am I short? Uh, I should have probably thought about this, but I guess I can still do this instead, which is still fine. But I probably should have thought about it.
Alright, well, they're really dead next turn. But I probably should have um, not done this. Discard. Oh, yes. Lena and Delray? Oh, I see. Okay. I guess, like, now if they Collective Defiance me, it's not great for me. Oh, is it just another Niv? I don't care about that. Like... My thing is dead. They finally resolved a Niv. It's still not going to remotely matter, I think. Shit is just so dumb. Like, my Phoenix has come back. I have two time walks in the bank. Uh, Grease Fang is a big one, Willow Source. Grease Fang and Mayhem Devil are the big ones, in my opinion. But, uh, this card sucks in this matchup. So, I'm not gonna have it in my deck. Mox not being fun, who would have thought? Uh, I mean, I would have thought. I think I can, like, shave down. Oh, actually, it's, like, pretty decent for some. What, can, what else can I cut, though? There's not that many cards to cut. I think Drake is good. Let's see. Alright, I think I'm going to shave two Trespass in one iteration, actually. Even though, like, I do think it's kind of good, but I think it's also... kind of just have to wait to pick your spot. Alright, we're up game one versus Is It Control? Like I said, I believe the deck is just kind of worse than Phoenix. I kind of feel like Phoenix can do the control thing if it wants to. So that's why it's kind of weird to me. But... Right, you can run Niv and Phoenix if you really wanted to. Not that. I actually need that, so. Yeah, I wouldn't, like, necessarily main deck it, because I don't think Niv or uh, Phoenix needs clunky cards in the main deck, but it's definitely something you could, like, sideboard for sure, and it would actually be pretty good sometimes, you know? Just gonna run this out. If they counter it, that's fine. I'm totally fine with that.
What's up, JW? How you been? We're playing some Pioneer Phoenix. Counter this, that's also fine. I mean, I just have so many spells. I have so many, I have so much action that it's fine to do all of this, I think. If I didn't have so much action, it would definitely be more debatable, you know. I don't think this deck plays that many counter spells. Like, it, it looks like three dispute. Maybe negates. I don't know if negate should even come in. All right, I'll cast this now. <laughs> JW, why you ask that? Okay, right, I'm going to speed back now. I don't have that much action left. Good. All right, they're casting treasure crews. That's fine. They're almost out of counter magic now, I think, is the reality. So. Do you innovate when you beat everything? Uh, good question. Not sure where my phoenixes are, but that's okay. We'll just say go and chill. Again, I'm looking for my phoenixes. It's time for 40 chess sideboard for their sideboard. Pretty much, yeah. Maybe 5D chess, 6D chess, 7D chess. I think it's time for our Lord and Savior, Niv Mizzet. Okay. Are you really going to try this shit? Those you are. Alright, well, we're not letting you do that, so.
It's not the original. It's a uh, artist copy, though. Have a cruise. They really tried to get me, didn't they? But they did not get me. So broke that. No, I want to save it for Trespass, because I think this game might be hard if I don't do that at some point. Um... Discard next. They have a Niv, I have at least have acts for the Niv. If they have Niv. I can draw a spell. Alright. I only do have a lot of lands now. It's kinda of problematic, but it doesn't more Hall of the Storm Giants either. Definitely this turn. They have another Niv, it might actually be problematic. So I could use Faithless Wooding? No shit. gonna play out all my thing in the ice again i think i need the iteration time warp thing to get around anger of the gods saying that they didn't escalate Two expressive iteration. Still a bunch of pieces in the deck. Okay. All my shit's dead, that's fine. Put them to six. If they have anger, it's bad for me, but I think it's kind of unavoidable at this point. Um, so I still have one Hall of the Storm Giants left in the deck. I kind of just hope that they don't have anger. But it makes sense for them to have anger, yeah. Alright, uh, one, two, three, four, thank you guys. So my last wind pond is all of the storm giants. Alright. Okay, that's good. So I just have to find the hall. Okay, excellent. 
So now I do this first. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't escalate, but, you know, that's fine. This is my last win con in the deck, I'm pretty sure. Uh, because it, all the other ones got milled. Occasionally, this deck used to play Jace Wielder of Mysteries, but I think it's kind of necessary. Like, obviously this game was kind of close. Hope I get Narset's reversaled. That wouldn't even be the end of the world. Also, why are you so spiteful, Matt? Can we get some hype in chat for that win? I had basically no win cons left except for that haul. That was kind of a hype win, you know? Can we get some... Some hype, some follows, some subs. There hasn't been a single sub today, chat. Y'all are sleeping on those Twitch primes. That's all I'm gonna say. Augur's moment. But Matt, what do you want me to do about it? What's up, Seeds? Glad to see you're here. A loyal sub. I think this is a keep on the draw. I'm gonna play probably more. Oh, it looks like Lotus Field. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Maybe it's not Lotus Field. I'll take it. Oh. Yeah, I guess it's not Lotus Field. Oh, it's a Sensi, yeah. Probably Sensi. That's also not great for me. Well, Sensi doesn't really play Pathway, because I don't think you can afford to. Oh, it's probably Neoform. Okay. Well, my hand's not very good versus Neoform, that's for sure. Okay, they put Tasker in the graveyard for a second. It's definitely Neoform. It's like the Neoform Velomachus deck. My hand's not particularly good for that, though. I mean, I could have left up double lightning axe, but I don't think I should. Wait. Better. Let's 
So they get a six counter on it via Neoform. So it um it can hit the Karn Karn Sample Sundering and the part the Water Veil, as you can see. if I'm dead. Alright, just don't have it. 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 Fuck! They had it! I could have left up double axe, but it seems so bad. Oh, they had to cast Contingency Plan off their Lore Hold? So much better for me. Okay. Let's see if we can get out of this. I think I'm just gonna discard a card and go to their turn. Probably discard Charter Course. I should just cast this and play my land. If I hit a land, it's so much better to do this first, I think. to concede they managed to get the thing into play attack with it twice and still lose which is kind of impressive i don't know i mean just kind of funny that that's how it can work out maybe having two red spells in hands like legit plan versus them it's kind of funny to think about uh, I do think Thing the Ice is not that good, though. Nar Narset's Reversal is a remand, so you want it. Uh, probably don't want this, actually. Probably just cut, like... Probably... Cruise, one Trespass, and probably one other card. Maybe it is like one pieces of the puzzle in this matchup, but that's kind of weird.
set of pieces, but I, I'm not sure about that. It's on the theory that it's hard for me to tap three mana to cast it, unless if I've already stabilized. Oh, sounds pretty good. Opponent's going to five. Note they did keep seven in game one, chat. Do I ever nurse its reverse? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you could construct a situation where it's correct. But I haven't yet, no. Oh, there's a lot of stinkers there. Right. I think I should actually keep that one. Play that land instead this turn. Need. That's good though. Sort of. Yeah, I don't know. It's like really hard for me to tap out for pieces here. I don't think I'm really allowed to. Okay. I think I'll just say go again. Talking that their deck full of card disadvantageous cards is like doing this to them. Or is it a shocker? I don't know, chat. What do you think? Didn't find a land, so I think I'm just gonna discard a pieces actually. Average, honestly. A land would be really good, so I think I should just cast my thing. I'll just start discarding the red removal because it's like not actually that good. I need basically two of them for them to do anything. Right. Yeah, another land would be good. Yeah. Excellent. I think here. Discard that. I think like now we're we're approaching their kind of screwed territory. I had to guess. Okay. Did I just spell pierce? Hopefully. There's also another layer of protection. So you go. What's our plan? I'll just bounce it. 
Oh, I could have Norse Heads. Uh, maybe I should have done that, actually. I don't think they can really win from here. Like, I don't know. Kind of feels hopeless. Keeper three. I'll just cast the opt anyways because I think another thing to do would be good. Explore. I don't have any thoughts on it right now. Have a tie and scheming. I think Phoenix is better. I've explained why. I kind of think the Phoenix deck just doesn't really give up a lot of the elements that the other deck does give up. I don't know why they activated their Tasker first. That was kind of weird. No, activate my hall. Red Tribal Wizards. I don't know about that, boss. No one bet yes I would win? Huh. You fools! Alright, new prediction for next match. We're going to match three of the second league. Again, thanks for everyone being here. Appreciate you all! No subs is sad. We're only at 89. I played against Adelie's Wizards, yeah. We beat it as Winota. It was really weird. Alright, um... Yeah. Went 2-3, but we're 2-0 in this one. I also went 4-1 with this deck before, so I don't know. 
Small N, big N, I don't know. Again, um... Who is Samwise? I'll let chat answer that for you. I'm gonna run a quick ad, I'll be right back. I need to get some water. Alright, back. Alright, <sighs> waiting for the ad to run out chat, but again, we're gonna go to match three about now. Alright, uh, let's see what has been said. Samwise? Samwise is from Lord of the Rings, Tolkien. Samwise Gamgee is one of the main characters. So you can sort of see how Samwise Gamgee becomes Samwise Gigi. It was not my idea, but this is what my account is now, and I'm not going to change it. Yeah, I would play Phoenix probably. Phoenix or Winota, I think, are my top two. Does Phoenix get a bonus if the PT is out in Phoenix? Well, they're not going to do that again, but I suppose so from a flavor standpoint.
All right, let's see what was said. Um, your Missouri MTG says, not sure if I'm old bogey, but Pioneer doesn't feel the same as Modern did back in 2011 to 2012. Well, considering Modern was invented near the end of 2011, I'm not sure how to reply to that. Like, literally, I think it was created in, like, July or June of 2011, right before Pro Tour Philadelphia. Like, they technically created before the Community Cup, but, like, Ancestral Vision and Bitter Blossom were legal, and then they banned those cards. Because they didn't, they just didn't want fairies to be like a good deck in the format. Instead, combo was like the best thing to do in the format instead. So it was kind of weird. Kind of ended up weird. I'm gonna keep this one on six. Blazing Shoal, yeah. We play the card with win in the name? Oh, that's Winota, I guess. Very funny. I think just lands are more important. Also, what's up, XJ? Hope you're having a good one. Although, XJ, you did bet no on me. I'm not sure if we can be friends anymore. After that sort of betrayal. Hashtag animated betrayal. I don't think I need another piece of puzzle. Did I bottom it and just draw another one? Huh. I thought I bottomed it, but I don't know what actually happened. Ah, uh, that's, that's bad. Alright, I'm going to lose to Collective Defiance if they have it this game, but that's fine. Whatever. Kind of just like... Alright, that's fine. I think that's the card that was revealed? Yeah. Should have probably played that land out. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping they don't wheel us. Well, actually, it might just be a mind twist because of collective defiance, but we'll see what happens. I mean, I don't want it to happen to me, obviously. fine. 
really wish I had played Hall of the Storm Giants last turn, actually. I think it might cost me, but we'll see. Flame Bus Bolt was put in hand, which is the Exile version. Thing I think is actively good now because of Winota and Green Devotion. You have to adapt your deck list. You can't just stay static. I think staying static is a good way to lose. I've already explained that. You don't get to shame me that easily. Yeah, but Fiery Impulse is even more useless, so... I don't know what you want me to do about it. I think I might just have to, like, risk it and just play my shit and just hope I get another turn. They milled Niv Mizzet, which probably means they don't have the land for it. No, I was one short on forking uh, Trespass. Otherwise, I would have done it. Well, I didn't want to mill my Phoenix, is the issue. Well, what does double chart do? It doesn't do anything. Yeah, it it was one short. That's why I didn't do it. I really wish Lightning Bolt were legal in this format. Although, if Lightning Bolt was legal in the format, it would just look way different, so... That's fine. They just remove my thing, I don't care. Alright, this is totally fine. Strangle's not Lightning Bolt, it's a Sorcery. That's a lot worse. You know that, Matt.
I think they're dead if I just attack them. I'm not banning Matt, but clearly that's an absurd statement. Uh, Fire Impulse is kind of dog shit. Uh, what else was I taking out? This is like not good versus um, Narset. I think I just shave around the edges. I don't like this card versus um This card's pretty bad versus Anger of the Gods, so I don't want to do that. Strangle the bird. Strangling the bird, I think, is not what you want to do. That's like a pretty poor use of cards. Choke the chicken. That is kind of funny, but also I think not relevant. I'm just gonna get the thing going. It's a pretty good iteration, actually. Fuck you. God damn it. Alright, sucks. Shit is so toxic. Well, I got mine twisted. I had the spell pierce. Uh, I couldn't have really done anything. Like, I didn't have the spell pierce without the iteration, so it's kind of like, whatever. Right. Deck is fucking trolling me now. Oh, I'm kind of tilted. I'm especially tilted because my sub count keeps going down as well. I don't know. Everything's shit now. Right. I don't want to play this game anymore. I'll be on the play for game three. Maybe I'll draw more blue counters. Sure, why not? That seems reasonable. Just ban Narset. Seems totally reasonable to me. I'm gonna side out one axe for one chart on the play. Sure. Sounds pretty good, actually. Put it on top. Why not?
Wind. Sucks. What is that? Land would have been really good there. If I can untap blue, red land, then kind of the stones. Excited in Chandra Awakened Inferno versus me. Your turn, on it. Do I think the next BT will- I don't know. It's whatever. They'll decide whatever they want. Interesting. I probably should still just cast this. I'll discard this fire buff for now. Just take out the Jace. There you go. You from this chat. Wow, this Castle of Interest doesn't come to play on tap. That's insane. Alright, you gotta charge your cruise, that's fine. I don't care if they wheel me now, I think they're, they'll just be dead if they tap out for wheel. So, it seems fine for me to do this. 
a fry for a blocker. Like, if it's Niv. I guess they can't really tap out for Niv. Do I ever board out the Phoenixes? I haven't come across a scenario where I want to yet. I'm sure I could construct some sequence where it's probably right, but... Oh, I'm gonna cast Fry and one in my opponent will be dead. Got the match. We are 3-0. and Kind of counterbalancing the other league. Like I said, I think this deck is like actively good versus Izzet Control, which is like kind of baffling that you would choose to play Izzet Control over this deck. Because they're kind of the same deck, except I think this deck is just kind of more solid on the fundamentals. Uh, again, thanks for everyone being here. Going to round four of the second week. If you're new to the stream, thanks for being here. What's a fundamental? It's just like, I think this deck is baseline more powerful. It does like something kind of more broken. Yeah, I mean like, this shit is so insane. Like the, like this is just scape shift for five mana, you win the game. Like, this was this is so nonsensically good. Why don't people build their blue red decks better? I don't know. I'm not I'm not here to build the blue red control deck or play it. I don't have much interest in it. I just think like this combo, this like, this combination is so powerful that it doesn't really make sense not to play it. And like, every time my opponent taps off for niv it, I just like give them cards and then they die. Only six cards? I mean, six is a lot. Like pieces mills of the phoenixes. I don't know how many of these type of cards you actually need. It's I've been trying to figure it out. Blue red no bad cards? I mean this kind of this deck is blue red no bad cards. I don't know. Oh, did I start a prediction for the next one yet? I did. We'll start it now. Again, thanks for everyone being here. If you want to support the stream, well, being here helps, but use checking for his Twitch Prime subs would help more. I mean, it's sometimes Snarethopter, but often it's not, so I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this is probably Ascendancy, then. I think I'm just gonna play the land tap and then play playing nice next turn. Wow. Actually really pulling out the his best street of new campana compression. <laughs> X doubt. <laughs> oh, I love AW a winner is you actually called interaction is so funny. It's just so funny to me. Uh, I love you both though. That's bad. They're drawing a land right there. Phoenix sideboard guide? I don't have a sideboard guide for myself. What makes me think I'll have one for you? Plus, like, I just change my sideboard so often that, it, like, it's kind of pointless. 
Wait, I don't land to this deck. I have 19 plus 1 DFC. It could go to 21, though. I think it's unreasonable. I think it's Ascendancy, right? Like, this feels like an Ascendancy deck. Right? What's up, N46? Well, you can demand it. That's not really going to change whether or not I actually do it. You know? So, a thing on one counter actually bricks their combo, so I might just leave it here for a little bit. It appears that they're really flooded, though. Wait, maybe it's not Ascendancy? No, they're casting Dig here, right? Like, yeah. Uh, the reason not to cast Opt is I want to leave this in play for their combo, and it's hard for them to do anything. But I might end up casting it next turn. Uh, this is probably bad. I probably should have just opted anyways and just hit them for seven. Because, like, the chances they actually kill me next turn are not that high. Also, this happened. Sucks. Yeah, now I'm just going to cast it anyways, so... That's good though, actually. Um, Oh, I should have done that then. Yeah, that's clearly correct. No, we're not bluffing, Pierce. I should have done it. I think they don't have it, but obviously they could. Dunes to go and discard probably a fiery pulse. I guess I could discard treasure cruise. I'm never casting cruise this game. No, most of the Phoenix lists don't play very much counter magic in the main deck, so it's kind of pointless to do that. I could have cast Trespass last turn, I just thought it wasn't right. Like, it's so hard to actually kill your opponent if you do that. Maybe they don't have enough spells. That's kind of difficult. Also, they have Indestructible, so, like... These red cards really don't do anything. I forgot they get haste,
Yeah, I mean, all of the blue counters are good versus hit, so that's kind of what you want to do. Also, I'm literally dead now, so. No, most people do not play Glittering Wish, I'm pretty sure. It, like, you can't even get Silver Dome Awakening with Glittering Wish, so what's the point? I think that is different, though. Also, Glittering Wish is not legal in the format, but I assume they actually meant Wish. But no one plays Wish in this deck either, so it's kind of pointless to think about. Get out? I'm out. Just dropping new on my base. I think even with the one Phoenix, I probably still would have died. But, you know, obviously I didn't do myself any favors by giving up the one free Phoenix. want fry for Narset? Probably not. Yeah, they did in some of the old modern versions. It wasn't very good, I think, but they did, in fact, do that. I want Narset's reversal for Dig? Probably not. Lightning Axe is also kind of shit, too, actually. Although, like, sometimes they side in Mentor, but I'm not going to worry about it, I think. I think probably what I'm going to do is have this, this, I guess, like, maybe the Fry. Yeah, you could go get Flesh Blood and literally, like, punch your opponent to death. That is what happened before. If only Fire Him boss hit Planeswalkers? Yeah, but, I mean, that's just a different card, you know? Kind of main phase because no reason not to. Come on, at this point. So, right. I know my two draws in a row were spell pierce trespass. I probably would have kept them, but. Also, this is better if I top deck iteration to play this land, so just kind of kind of correct, I think. Tapping out for pieces this turn. Sternus Missile has cool art, yeah. It's kind of like a weird unsummon slash um whatever split card. Alright, well, I don't think I should let them untap with that. Made sense in the context of its set. Um, this was Theros Beyond Death. So, yeah. It was sending away Ephara, I think. Who is the white blue? Um, kind of self -ears. It taps them out. And then I'm safe for one turn, but I need I need to like make shit happen, obviously. We really needed Galvanic iteration there. Um. <laughs> this is 
sucks. I think casting Trespass doesn't do much. Probably shouldn't. But is Pioneer meta still a diverse? Uh, sort of. I don't know. It depends on who you ask, I guess, is your reality. Maybe I burn this too fast, but it's kind of terrifying to just let them have it on that turn. Alright, there's the Sylvan Awakening. I assume they're going to cast it. If they don't cast it, it's kind of weird. enough spells. But I feel like I'm dead again. Probably just burn this too early. Probably should just wait until this turn and bounce the Ascendancy with the Awakening on the stack. I guess they have to have a blue card. They need a spell here. Maybe they don't have it. Mystical Dispute, I mean, it's just basically Power of Blast most of the time. Well, looks like I'm gonna lose this one, chat. Yo, oh, Doomwake, thanks for the raid, my friend. How was the stream? How was the green devotion? I'm in my second league of the night. I went 2-3 earlier with this deck, but I'm 3-0, but I'm about to be 3-1, I think. Almost dead. Save one more spell, I'm actually dead. So. Dead. Yeah, this sucks. Oh, I'm so tilted that I lost this matchup. Did not win. And the first week ago, I went 2 3, but um, 3 1 in this one. Just. Lost the match for 4 0. But we'll see if we can get the 4 1. Again, thanks for everyone coming here from Doom Extreme. If you're new to the stream, uh, I stream a lot of MTGO. And if you want to support the stream, hit that follow button that's free to do so. And uh, thanks for being here. What's up, Drew? If you really want to support the stream, check for that Twitch Prime sub. Take those Bezo bucks. Uh, what decks did I trophy with? I trophied once with Winota and once with Yorian Azorius Control. Four, four C Ascendancy. Round five. All right, probably the last match for the night. But again, thanks for everyone being here. Give Prime next Excel stream. Is this an Excel stream? I mean, I have uh, Google Sheets open. Does that count? Or I just write down what happened because, you know, lies. 
Exactly. I think the Yorion deck is not... I don't want to play it IRL. Also, Excel is kind of a shit program, but that's unrelated. It's like a pretty bad program, honestly. You can subscribe for an R stream. Do I still have R on this computer? Studio. Uh, no. I was using the R editor. Like, online R studio. That's right. It's R studio cloud. That's what I was using before. JMP is... I mean... JMP is... Something. I don't think JMP is good either, but I think R, like, technically, if you really want to do heavy duty statistical stuff, R is probably the best. But you also have to really know what you're doing. To make sure you don't get, like, random bugs. There's a lot of ways to, like, have things go poorly in R. What's up, Will Hall? Yo, math guy, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. If you all want to be as cool, cool as Twitch Prime guy, or uh, math guy, check for those Twitch Prime subs. And let's get some Jarvis claps in chat for math guy 31415. Also, should I open a chest for you, math guy? match x whale right. uh, I'm gonna keep this hand but I'm gonna open the chest for you real quick plus I have a lot of chests I've been I've been winning a lot actually but I was close to 1950 and now I'm probably not Alright, Tarfiend. This one pro tour actually. Check Luis's elf deck from PT Berlin for 25 play points. Yo, what's up, Cast Money? Hope you're having a good one. Um one. Oh, it's a two lander. Uh, I'm probably gonna keep. Thing the ice is lit versus Winota. Oh, doesn't appear to be Winota. I wish I had a shock in my hand. No. Oh. I think I'm gonna cast the considers after I cast thing in the ice. Oh, that's bad. Oh. Hey man, there ain't no party without any music. Turn on the radio, huh? Are you sure you want me to turn it on? All I get is Yo, Cass, I don't I feel like you don't come to the stream very often, but I, you're you're a busy person though, so I understand. Also I'm a smaller streamer, so Well it's good to have you here. It's good to have everyone here. Oh no. I think I just have to block. I don't think I'm allowed to take damage. If they have a shock, so be it. I think it's just unacceptable to take all that damage. Oh, you're on that Bachelor Ret Life. So, this is kind of hard without having any shocks in my hand. I'm just going to take a shit ton of damage and die, probably. But, you know, I'm always going to block. Like they say, I'm not a coward. Also, this is important magic for Tablet of the Guilds as well. I think Young Pyromancer is actually pretty good, to be fair, so... I'm dying. Alright, can I get any removal? I don't want that. Let's 
Oh, you resub too? Yeah, there will be chests. There will be a bunch of chests after this. So, that looks like I'm dying. Probably need the red source. I'm gonna play this tap. This is a red source you can find off pieces of the puzzle, by the way, which is the primary reason it's in the deck. If they have land, I'm dead. Alright, well, that's also faithful. I mean, kind of just like, I don't think I... My hand did not line up well versus that hand, even though I had two things, guys. Do I upload leagues to YouTube? Uh, sometimes. Not, it's not a lock, but most of the time. Uh, don't think you need the time warp package in this matchup. And in fact, I'm going to cut it. And I think what you want is just removal and creatures. And I think probably I'm going to cut one charter course. So anger plus pyromancer is not great. I think I'm just going to cut anger actually. Although, the Iteration plus Red Removal thing is kind of real, too, so maybe I should just have the Iterations over charts. Like, maybe like this. Just like, Iteration Impulse to kill two creatures is a very real thing to do, I feel like. I can do better. The, the removal's good, obviously. Um, the rest of the hand's not great. I think I'm just going to bottom lightning act, honestly. And just play a tap seam fence on one. Gonna say go. If they play idle on, I'm obviously gonna respond with consider. Or I guess I can just that's good. Okay. I'm just gonna play a Drake next turn. 4-4 four, four Drake is like pretty big. Yeah, it's fine. I will block Eidolon of the Great Rebel. Or I guess my creature is dead. for red removal again. Thanks for the content, Jarvis, as always. Oh, Matt Lindy, thanks. Pal. I am getting myself lit up. Kind of unfortunate. I guess next turn I can kill both with the Shatter Skull Smashing. But it looks like I'm mostly dead. I'll be at seven. I'll kill the board. Some red. Most Phoenix decks don't play this card, but I kind of think it's just free roll. Like, this is part of my mana base, but it's obviously so much better than a mountain here, you know? Well, that's scary. I mean, I'm dead to everything. Ah, uh, sad. I feel like this matchup is good, actually, but obviously those games did not bear that out. 
All right, I owe a chest to many people. One, I got one for the Max Williams, one for Storm Thief, and one for Matt. So we'll open those chests. All right, what we got? Ha, <laughs> Collective De Defiance. Uh, I am lower on bolts than more, most people. I only have seven, but seven's a lot. I have seven plus four, four thing in the ice, so it's quite a bit. Well, Blinder, I do not remember this card. Is the Defiance worth anything now? My, oh, it's 90 cents. That's actually not bad. Well, 3002 is not the happiest, but we got Grozoth and Intruder Alarm. All combo cards. Yo, GG, XL. I was kind of salty that I got killed so bad because I think Phoenix is actually better versus Red than that, but I don't know. I don't want certainly a problem, though. I just didn't draw a lot of Red removal in game one, so I got kind of killed instantly. Anyways, this, this used to transmute for Dragonstorm. I did high roll intruder alarm. Oof, Dalkin Ori and Gideon's Battle Cry. Yeah, I don't think I mean I'm also just trying stuff. You know me, I like to build decks better. Or like to try different decks. Whoops. Okay, so let's see what my overall win rate is like. Okay, we have 4-1. Since Pioneer came back for me to be relevant, 4-1, 5-0. Just do it in. Four one five zero three two. 3 3-2. I think the Green Devotion deck needs to be fixed, personally, but I don't know how to fix it. Alright, 2-3. Three, two. I think this is everything that I've played recently. This this was Phoenix. This was Dorian Azorius. This was Green Devo. This was Green Devo. This was Anoda. This was Winoda. This was Phoenix. This was Phoenix. So, so let's see. 9, 15, 9, 15, 19, 24, 29, 5, 6, 11. So 29 and 11. That should be 29 times 2.5 win rate. I'm pretty sure, but let's see if I'm right. 29 times 2.5, in fact, is 72.5. All right. My one rate was better until I started playing Phoenix again, but you know, one rate doesn't really matter. I'm still learning the format, but it's kind of good to know what the constraints of the format are. Ooh, Rainwave died? Let's see. Nope, Rainwave appears to be dead. That's the music service I use, but apparently it's something happened. Anyways, um, I think that's about going to wrap it up. I will play some more MTGO tomorrow morning. I'm not sure when yet. Probably around 9.30, maybe 9.45 a.m. I might play Legacy. I might play Modern. I'm not sure. Uh, any overall thoughts on the format? Okay, my, my broad stroke view of the format is there's like five pretty good decks. like. You can play Lotus Field. You can play Azorius, like various Azorius decks. You can play Lurid Phoenix. You can play Winota. Uh, you can play... What was the last one? One more. Oh, I should pay out. Yeah, you're right. Not good. Uh, yeah, you can play Green Devo. I don't really like Greasefang, but I understand other people do. So... Anyways, um, stick around. We're gonna raid someone real quick.